Hello, it's Gem Games here once again, and in this video we are going to create the background, and also we are making so that we can actually see through our camera actor. So yeah, let's get started. First, we actually want to go to the resources folder, and we want to create a new material. Let's call this background underscore mat. Okay. Let's open it, and what we want to do here, we want to right-click and search for a texture sample. Okay, now we want to get the RGB and connect it to the uh, emissive color. Now we want to click on this texture sample, and we want to change the texture to our background. Now let's save. Let's wait for it to save. And we can close this. Okay, now what we want to do, we want to go to the blueprints and we want to create a new blueprint, blueprint class, actor. Let's call this background. Okay, let's open that. Now let's go to the viewport, we should be there as default. Now, what we want to do, we want to add a cube to the level. Now we want to go a little bit further back. Now let's change the, let's uh, make so that our lock is unlocked. So we can change all these values individually. And for the X value, let's change it to 35. On the Y, we want to change the point zero, uh, zero point zero 0.01. And on this set, we want to set it to 65. Now. We want to go even further back, so let's scroll all the way back. Okay, now here on the materials, element zero, we want to change this material to our background material. Okay, and now you should see the background here. Okay, so let's compile, let's save, let's get from our background window, let's move it next to the level one, so we can see them both here. At the same window. Now let's go to the level one and let's move the background to the level. Okay. And actually, let's go to this direction. So we have our arrows here the blue one pointing up, the red one pointing right, and the green one pointing towards us. Okay. Now let's click on the background and let's go to the details. Let's change these locations. And we want to just set them all to zero so we can click from here. Reset, uh, reset this property to its default value. Okay, now it's all on zero. Now let's right click and move with our keyboard uh, with our ASDW keys. A little bit further, like that. Okay. Now, what we want to do, we want to click on our camera actor. And here, we also want to set some uh, values. So let's set the location set, uh, sorry, X to zero. Location Y to 1750, so 1750. And set to zero. And our set rotation to minus 90 degrees. Okay, now what we want to do is we want to, here on the camera options, we have this uh, constraint aspect, aspect ratio. We want to make this false, like that. Okay, but now when we play, and actually, sorry, we want to uh, click from here, from the three dots, now uh, we want to go to the advanced settings. We want to change our viewport width to 720 and height to one uh, to 80. So 1280 units. Okay. So it's like portrait view. Now when we uh, click from here and we play on new editor window, now you can see when we play, we are not seeing through the camera actor. So let's fix that. We want to go to here. 
click on it and open level blueprint. And here on the level blueprint, we want to delete the event tick. So let's select it and delete. We want to right click and get player controller. Okay. From here, we want to get from the return value and we want to set view target with blend. And we want to connect the execute from the begin play to this node. Okay, now let's select both of these and press Q on our keyboard so it will align these perfectly. <coughs> now on the new view target, what we want to do is we want to go back to the level one. We want to select our camera actor like this, go back to level one level bl blueprint. We want to right click and create a reference to camera actor. If you can't see this, you haven't selected the camera actor correctly. So you want to make sure that it's selected like this on blue. Now you want to create that reference and we want to get from this and connect to the new view target. Actually, we can move this whole thing a little bit closer. Okay. And we don't have to set anything to these values. Now, if we compile, we save, we go back to level one and we play. You can see we are seeing through the camera on our level and we cannot control the camera rotation anymore. So yeah, I think that was actually all for this video. If you like what you saw, please click the like button and subscribe for more. Yeah, hope you have a great day and see you the next one. Bye.